Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for this opportunity to speak here in front of you and tell a little bit about a project that we did recently, <clears throat> just like three weeks ago in Finland, in Helsinki. Let me just have a bit of glass of water. <clears throat> yes, um, a, a program um, event we call SIPHACK. Now, SIPHACK is a Sibelius-inspired hackathon. How many people here know what a hackathon is or have heard of a hackathon? Very few. So let me explain that word to you. A hackathon comes from the programming convention, comes from the programming world of coders or so to say hackers. And it is a combination of the word hacking and marathon. And what it means is, well, it's a way for programmers to be sociable they really just like to communicate with each other through their computers. So it's, it's kind of like a LAN party or a party where um, everybody comes together with their laptops and makes something during maybe one 24 hours or maybe 48 hours. So usually it's held in the weekends, you barely sleep, you just program away and try to get one thing. Uh, the Facebook like button, who has heard of that or who knows what the Facebook like button is? That is a result of a hackathon that was organized over a weekend. Um, and why should we combine it now with Jean Sibelius, the national composer of Finland, one of the famous Finns? Well, we see that Sibelius um, can actually uh, be a source of inspiration for the idea of exploration and creativity. And we wanted to bring that to a younger audience, suggest to them this, like, look, Jean Sibelius, he was a creative person. He, looked, he would look at a tree and he would see the essence of that tree. He would really hear the essence of that tree and then um, compose his music to that. May I have the slides back? Oh, great. Um, so, so that's why we chose Sibelius and the thesis of SIPAC was actually that Sibelius was a hacker of his time. So he was someone who would use the tool that was the instrument and they make something out of it and model the world he sees. Um, the idea of SIPAC is that very different people come together and let me just show you one of the... So. Where do I point it? Where do I push? <laughs> Technology is not working for me today. Um, I'm pushing the forward button. Should that be the one I should be pushing? Should I hit? Oh. I, I pressed it. Yeah. Um, the green one? Or? Let me just try all the buttons on this one. Oh, yay! So here, if you can see, there's a, on the right, you have a famous painting by one of the Finnish National Gallery, um, uh, portrait um, painters, Akseli Gallen Kallela, the Symposium. And it actually features um, Sibelius. He is on the far right, um, looking into the future, looking at the creativity throughout time, together with his artist friends. The painter himself has painted himself on the, on the left, and um, um, the, the guy who's actually sleeping, well, let's say he's sleeping, um, he was a composer that the others didn't find was artistic enough for their purposes. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a bunch of his friends looking at um, creativity. And then we had our young, young programmers that we invited to join the hackathon. And they quickly, using all their kind of tools, made this uh, similar image and posted it immediately on Twitter. And it was, it was really fun. I think it captured the essence of this and the essence of was that very di different people come together and that the uh, digital creativity meets with cultural tradition to form new ideas and new ways um, of um, doing things. Now I'm pressing the buttons again. 
Ah, yes. And uh, here you can see the Sibelius Monument. I don't know if you've ever been to Helsinki, but this is a rather famous monument to symbolize Sibelius. It was a huge scandal and somewhere like 40, 50 years ago when it was um, built or when it was put in this place because it doesn't have the face of Sibelius. So it's, it's, it's not, not a very good... Well, that, that was the idea that it's, it wouldn't portray him very well, but I think it portrays him really fantastically in a very abstract way. And I was asked if I'm prepared for another scandal with organizing SIPAC, because um, what a weird way to, to work on a composer. But again, it's, it's the, the way our time now works with composers um, or with any kind of source of creativity is to uh, take the idea of it and transform it in and the way that is um, for our time appropriate. And this was actually then one of the groups we saw. We had 13 teams th um, that worked on projects, um, drawing inspiration from Sibelius. And one of them actually worked on um, um, the Sibelius monument. And they had the exact measures and exact height of those, uh, of those uh, cylindrical pillars that you saw previously. And then they made an app out of it, an iPad app with which uh, you could actually play those tubes. So, so they would calculate, using mathematics, they would calculate what kind of sound a tube would make, and then they made an instrument out of it, the, uh, an instrument out of the monument, which they called the monstrument. And then we had some working on C cassettes, so they would take some really like older technology and put um, put the way a, a, a GIF animation sounds on a C cassette. Very abstract stuff. They they never made it to the final, but they had a lot of fun, and it was very peculiar. And so then. Um, we had a panel of judges, three people. Um, you can see on the left is Erki Korhan, and he's the director of uh, the Sibelius Birth Town Foundation. Um, then uh, in the middle, the lady is called Susanna Pettersson. She was the director of the museum that hosted this hackathon. And then we had our technology partner, Efiko and Marco Clemeti, from there. And they all used a lot of their time to understand each team's project. And during that time, when they really listened to and saw what, and played with um, what each team created, um, there was a really wonderful exchange of cultural cult two different cultures of young people being like, uh, this is what we can do with tech and this is what fascinates me. And with older people from, from institutions who already have a lot of experience and uh, present cultural traditions and saying, well, but did you know that this was done some, something very similar, maybe in an analog way, uh, was done like this? Or uh, did you know that Sibelius actually saw what he heard in colors because he had the synco synesthesia. And so there was a lot of exchange between those two different generations. And I think that was one of the uh, great things about uh, SIPAC. Then um, one of the uh, projects was to actually, this ball is, is a game, failed game controller. Um, that never made it to the market really, um, but they hacked it, one team hacked it, and made a conducting baton out of it. So um, I want to show you because we, uh, August, so I want to show you this video where they're using this. It's an interactive conductor's baton, so. uh, half the board got through our team. Uh, our kind of guiding teams in this work was uh, Finlandia, uh, Guitar Hero, uh, Trees and synesthesia. Uh, the team Uhuhu consists of uh, Veli, uh, who has arranged and orchestrated Finlandia for us to use in an uh, interactive way, measure by measure, and me, Valtteri, who handled the interaction with our baton and the hacking of the baton sensor. We have Markus here, who uh, was in charge of projection mapping and making a video, which we will show after an interactive demo. And finally, uh, Jussi, who made really amazing graphics that you will see. Everything that you see is uh, calculated in real time with mathematical formulas. 
long spectrums, so nothing is pre-rendered. This battle with which you can direct the orchestra and the visualization. Oh, that was not. Yeah, because now we're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk during this. So um, the visualization is calculated as they go mathematically using fractals, okay, and orchestra? Uh, the orchestra uh, with what, like, uh, is following. One the orchestra is following one him. One um, well, the orchestra that was in the program so, is following. Something like this the baton, electronically. <laughs> so, we can skip, skip further. Yeah. So this is like, just to wrap it up, I want to, there's some really nice, can I just get the slides? Next slide. I think this is Anna. Yeah. Next slide. Next slide. Next. Next. Since we're running out of time. Next slide, please. And next slide, please. The winner. And next slide, please. Muy, 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 so muy, uh, here, just to, can you pause this, please? Here, just to wrap it up. Unidos en una sola tradición. Hay una, hay una gran desconexión entre la tradición clásica y los experimentos con la tecnología. Y lo que CIPRES está haciendo es crear una especie de puente entre, entre ambos. Eh, traer gente muy talentosa, con contextos muy diferentes, de diferente educación, y ponerlos juntos a trabajar para crear esa especie de puente entre tradiciones y nuevas tecnologías. En ese sentido, creo que es un evento pues, sin, sin con ninguna comparación en el mundo. Eh, la experiencia de trabajar aquí ha sido fenomenal, en un ambiente como el Ateneum eh, hemos tenido todo tipo de soporte en, en nuestras obras, eh, lo cual ha creado un ambiente aún mejor para propósitos creativos, así que ha sido todo un honor aquí, estar aquí en CIPAC. So that was, that was one of the participators, a composing student who made his own collage on Sibelius's music and we had the same interview in English as well, and he, because he was from Colombia, he repeated in Spanish. But uh, to wrap it up, uh, SIPAC and a hackathon around classical music is one way, is a great methodology for making those, for making discoveries and discovering um, new possibilities for an orchestra to make use of the digital possibility we have. Because there are so many possibilities. We don't have to copy what we do, what we, we can really create new ways that fit exactly your orchestra or any cultural organization. So thank you very much. Um.